Hey everyone. Um, the reason why I'm doing this broadcast because I'm going to expose a channel that is, uh, of course, they're atheist scumbags. Forgive my French. They're false and they're false prophets. They seem to have this hostility towards Christianity, but yet they embrace Islam. The reason why I say that is because they did a broadcast, they did a, a, a video today. And the video was talking about how Islam is not violent, how it's a peaceful religion, how, uh, oh, how there has never been any incidences in the United States where Islam was forced on somebody's throat, and that is a lie. So it's, it's, a, it's a guy, but the channel has two people. One guy that looks like uh, Homer Simpson. He's a heavy set guy. And um, a heavy set guy that looks like he got beat up. Then there's a girl that looks like olive oil. Um, olive oil, again, who looks like somebody tied her to the back of their truck, dragged her on the ground for several miles. That's how beat up she looks. So let me continue on. They go on to say that there's never been a violent act by Muslims in the United States, and there's never been um, any uh, incidents where they force their religion down people's throats. And then they got the nerve to talk about how uh, gay people, okay, were told by Arkansas that they can't have their names on a birth certificate. First of all, gay people can't conceive kids. That's first of all. Secondly, it's state law. Gay people don't like it, simply get out. Thirdly, we all know that, that being a sodomite is a sin. And the other thing I wanted to address as well is that they were talking about going on about gay rights, gay this, gay that, attacking Christianity like a couple of animals, saying how Christianity is... Um, forced on people's throat, and Islam isn't. I'm, I won't be surprised if these two people are Muslims. So I'm like, okay, I mean, Turks. That's the channel is called the Young Turks. That means that, you know, they must be from Turkey. Turkey's an Islamic nation. And these people say that they're young, but the, the old fat guy that sits on the left side looks like he's 70. And the girl that looks like olive oil, you know, you could Google the channel name for yourself, looks like she's 90. But let me go on. So they're talking about gay rights this and gay rights that. But you know what is funny, ladies and gentlemen? Is that they fail to mention, they fail to mention how, you know, uh, gay people infringe on the rights of Christians. These two morons are talking about... Um, constitutional rights, gays have rights, gays have this, gays have that. Okay, but what about the right to, uh, the constitutional right that says to you can practice your religion freely? What about that? They violate that of Christians. You know how many Christians got sued because they refused to do a gay wedding or those one couple that refused to do, uh, a, uh, it was a bakery that they owned, they refused to um, do a cake for a couple of sodomites and you know that they ended up going out of business and If a Christian refuses a gay person's request for a wedding, they can all face prison time If that doesn't trample on religious rights of Christians, I don't know what does you know that these gay people have more rights than Christians do Their views and here's what the, the, the here's what's going on they're telling a devout Christian, you can't practice your religion. You have to accept the changing times that gays have rights to, whether you like it or not, if it's your guest religion or not, that's too bad. you got to accept the facts that gay people have rights and you will be forced to practice, their, practice uh, get, uh, perform a wedding for them or you will go to jail. That's what this nation has come to. They're forcing Christians to abandon their religious beliefs and accept homosexuals as being the normal way of life. So, you know, if they're accepting that, you already, you know, I mean, like I said, this, this, this nation is, is the pig side of nations. And the other thing I wanted to say was this, that 
if you you already have people coming forward, the people that practice bestiality saying that they should be able to have rights to. You have people that are marrying inanimate objects for crying out loud. I mean, people that are marrying, like, let's say, like, um, I have one woman that married, there was one woman that married a bridge and a tree. They want to have rights too. You have this nation that basically says, and this is what the young Turks support. This is how retarded they are. That says that um, a, a guy who will, uh, can wake up one morning, identify himself as a girl, and he can walk into a girl's bathroom and just use the bathroom and go into her locker room. So I asked questions to one of these young Turks. You have a daughter? How would you feel if your daughter came home and said, Mom, Dad, a guy walked into my bathroom, saw me, used to, he, because he wanted to, you know, he walked into my bathroom to use it. He saw me while I was using the toilet. And the reason why he wanted to go into the bathroom is because he identifies himself as a girl you know he's not. Or how would you feel if you, your daughter, was a victim of rape by a Muslim person? I'm not saying all Muslims are rapists. I'm saying that that happened. A lot of refugees are Muslims that are coming into this country, posing as refugees, excuse me, and they're rapists. So how would you feel if your daughter got raped by, gang raped by Muslims? I bet Mr. Young Turk and Mrs. Young Turk, you would not be talking all that crap that you're talking. You would have a totally different view. And you ask for an example about how, um, you ask for an example about how Dearborn, Michigan, oh, I'm sorry, uh, if there's any, any uh, examples of violence of Muslims against Christians, you people are the biggest, stupidest morons on the planet. The Turk, uh, the Young Turk channel. Because if you go on YouTube and you Google Muslim protests or Muslim stones Christians, you will find scores of videos. And if you want to know some more, Dearborn, Michigan, Christians are getting stoned every day. And Christianity is not a violent religion. That's why many Muslims are leaving Islam. Islam is a violent religion. And it's very apparent that you young Turks, before you start running your big mouths, do your research. It's apparent you haven't read the Hadith and you haven't read the Quran. If a religion is so peaceful, I ask you this, why does it say kill the Christians and Jews in the Quran? Why does it say wage war against them, the infidels? The infidels, why does it say to kill the infidels, which the Muslims consider you as an atheist and anyone that is not a Muslim an infidel? Yet, you got the nerve to say that Muslims are not violent? I'm not saying all Muslims are not violent, but you're saying Islam as a whole is not violent. Before you run your mouth, read the Quran and read the Hadith and do your research instead of running your big mouths. You have one guy in the Young Turks that needs to lose weight. So if he needs to, if he's running his mouth, he's running his mouth obviously eating a lot of food. He needs to start running his, his fat behind to the gym. As for the girl, she needs to stop putting on a pound of makeup because she looks like a $2 tramp. And I'm going to be real and I'm going to say it like it is. Look at my channel name. So anyway, I was just outraged by what I saw. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that exposed this channel for the fraud it is. And you've got 2 million morons, 2 million plus morons listening to these people. This channel, the Young Turks, is no more than a cult. They have no proof that God exists or not. They don't have any proof. You know something? I'm not a fan of Putin, but I'm going to say this. He does not tolerate any of the stuff that's going on in this Sodom and Gomorrah nation that we live in. He doesn't. Sometimes, you know, I feel that this nation needs a leader like that. I'm not saying a leader that's a communist. I'm saying a leader that lays the law down and lets y'all know, okay, that if you are a Muslim and you're going to be living in this nation, you're going to abide by the laws. And if you are a homosexual, you're going to abide by the laws as well. Even if they don't allow homosexuality, you don't like it, you can simply leave. Now, 
these these atheists ask for another example about Muslim violence. Okay. David Wood has a large following, and he exposes his eyes them for what it is. He went to Dearborn, Michigan, and him and his crew were stoned. You can easily Google that video. It's another example among many. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, there was beheadings. Beheadings in America. And the ones that did the beheadings was a Muslim. You can look that up for yourself. And don't sit there and say it's propaganda because they were devout Muslims. Another example I can give you guys is uh, a friend of mine, actually, at work. Um, she said to me that she was preaching the gospel. Okay? She's a Christian. Then she told me that a Muslim came up to her and started chanting uh, Al Akbar right in front of her while she was preaching. She wasn't doing anything. And he started pushing her. It took three good Samaritans to stop him because that Muslim man was becoming violent. There's many examples. Okay? Now, as I said, if you go to Dearborn, Michigan, that's a Muslim capital. There's over 200,000 Muslims there. If you try to preach your, the gospel, they stone you. So these atheist scumbags on the Young Turks don't know anything what they're talking about. Another thing I want to point out is these Muslims that come in your country expect you to appease them. And I made a video about that. So what happened was, was that there was this one guy, you could Google it on YouTube again, you could search it. They told him that, um, sorry you guys, I'm trying to get ready because I have a meeting and, and talk to you at the same time. So basically what they told him, they told him that he, he, he has a, a pig farm that he had for generations, I mean generations. So this Muslim person moved there and he bought a plot of land next to him because he wanted to build a mosque. He got the audacity, I mean the nerve, to tell this Muslim, to tell the Texan, the guy from Texas that has a pig farm, you need to either get rid of your pigs or you need to get up and move because we're building a mosque here and it's against our custom and religion. This is what I'm talking about. That, that Texas guy basically told him where to go, that he wasn't going nowhere. And now during Fridays on their prayers, you know, Muslim prayers, they hold pig races. And you know that the pig races can get very distracting, so it obviously interferes with Muslim prayers on Friday. Who do those Muslims think they are telling that man that's been there for generations to move or to get rid of the pigs? They got some nerve telling him what to do on his property. This is what I'm talking about. So if homosexuals do not like the fact that Christians find it against their religion to uh, practice a gay marriage, then they need to find or establish a nation or a state, just like the Young Turk said, where that kind of stuff is allowed. They can move to France. That is totally a sodomite nation. Go to San Francisco, California. Full of them. I'm sick and tired of these homosexuals shoving their ideologies down a Christian's throat. Christians have a right to think for themselves. Christians have a right to say, no, it's against my religion. It's, it's ridiculous and outrageous that they face possible jail time. That's ridiculous. You're forcing your ideologies on a Christian. They have a free right to practice their religion and worship as they please. Just like these sodomites have rights, which they shouldn't, Christians should have the same rights. Gotta face jail time or get sued. That's outrageous. Just so you know, the Young Turks, Islam doesn't like homosexuality either. So before you sit there and defend them, they don't. They stand with Christians that homosexuality is a sin, which I agree. Excuse me. Post wholeheartedly, I agree that it's a sin. One second, you guys.
Không ngồi vậy So, before you earth atheists, not just the young Turks, run your mouth, do your research, do your research. Christians have no rights. And it was prophesied over 2,000 years ago. So I'm going to pose the same question to you that I posed to another atheist. I want you to prove to me that God, who is Jesus Christ, doesn't exist. Don't give me scientific proof because I don't trust what man says. It was Michael Jackson that said that everything in the history books, everything man has created is a lie. And Michael Jackson was a Muslim. He wasn't a practicing one. I think he went from being a Muslim to becoming an actual atheist. So he was an actual atheist that said all history books are a lie. I want you to prove to me that God doesn't exist. And I'm going to pose this question to you. You know that the persecution of Christians is escalating. You know that. I want you atheist viruses to answer me this. If you say that the Bible is written by man and that God doesn't exist, why was it prophesied over 2,000 years ago that Christian persecution was going to happen? Now, Christian persecution, it was going to happen even before it happened. Why well, was it prophesied that it was going to happen more rapidly in the future? And it is happening now. That is Bible prophecy. So I want you to explain this to me. If man wrote the Bible, then how do these men, these righteous folks, know that or, sorry, Christian persecution was going to happen in the future? How could they possibly know that? How could they possibly know that if, if the Bible was written by man? How do you explain the MS animal deaths that's in a Hosea prophecy? Scientists can't explain it. Your scientists can't explain it. How do you explain the blood rivers turning red? Your scientists can't explain it. How do you explain all of the archaeological findings that are backing up Bible events? Like Solomon's temple being found. The nails that nailed Jesus Christ to the cross. Don't sit there and tell me it was fake. Give me proof. And I'm not talking about Photoshop items and anything that's man-made. You show me your concrete evidence. And other proof about Noah's Ark being found. When Lot's wife was frozen for disobeying the Lord, she turned into a pillar of salt. That was found. Um, Psalms 83 was found. An actual scroll. Cyrus's, King Cyrus's and King Darius' seal. Solomon's temple. The tomb of Abraham and Solomon. Horse bones. Pieces of a chariot that supports the book of Exodus when the Lord was delivering the Israelites from Egypt. That was found. The very same lining that was covered Christ was found. Christ's tomb. Explain, I mean, these are archaeological findings that prove the Bible. So explain to me, okay, how, if the Bible is so fake, why are these archaeological findings coming up that backs the Bible up? And don't sit there and tell me it's fake, because if it's fake, I want you to prove it. Prove it. And I'm going to go back to my other question. So, how can prophets of old know about persecution of Christians? That it's going to happen now. It's going to, it's going to happen. It happened in between. They predicted that. And they predicted also that it was going to be at its worst now in this generation. How did they know that? If the Bible was written by man. There's no way they could possibly know that unless... A higher power revealed that to him, meaning Jesus Christ, who was God. So explain that to me, you Muslims, I mean, you atheists. Explain also how me, I'm mean, using myself as an example, I had a 107 degree fever. You can, my family can attest to this. And um, 
I was really ill. I was pale. But I made a miraculous recovery less than 24 hours because I prayed to God without even going to a hospital. How do you explain that? I didn't take any medicine. How do you explain that, you atheist? How do you also explain the testimonies of incubus spirits attacking people? Ghoststories.com. There's thousands of them. You're going to say they're all making it up? How do you also explain when I went to a sister's house, a friend of mine, she and I witnessed it. There was not only her, there was several, more than 10 people in the room. We saw a black mist that took the form of a humanoid. Obviously, it was a demon. We all saw that. What are you going to say? We was all seeing things? There was more, one more than one person in the room? How do you explain ghost sightings? How do you explain... Let's take this up a notch. Like I said, the mass animal deaths. How do you explain the double slow, uh, lunar uh, solar eclipse we had? It never happened before. What about the blood red moons that's prophesied in the Bible by the prophets of old? If they didn't know that was going to happen, how did they know? Because it was prophesied over 2,000 years ago. They prophesied that blood moons would come about over 2,000 years ago, and that's happening now. Let me explain that. So before you run your mouth, do your research. These are more, two more atheists that I proved wrong. They can answer these questions and show concrete evidence. I'm open to hear. But they don't have proof because the only proof they're going to rely on is science. And I don't trust man. You ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. The Young Turks, they have over 2 million moron, brain-dead zombies listening to, their, listening to all the filth that comes out of their mouth. Stay away from that channel if I was you.